so today we will learn the technical analysis using python library so first of all we will install this ta library first so we will learn pip install ta so let me run this command so you can see that this library is already been installed in my system so now we will just import it import it as ta tell oh suppose and now we need to we need some data to run so for that we will be using nscpy library nscpy so what nscpy does it uh, returns a list of data of any stock for a given interval of time so let me show you this library so first of all you need to install using this command after that to get the data you need to import this get history method so simply we will copy paste this method here from here so what it does it returns a list of values of a given stock and here stock is sbin so for getting this data we can print it using print command and data dot head of 10 so it will return the first 10 data okay so let me print it can see that it has written the first 10 data so now we will use ta library to do some technical analysis like if we want to get the rsi value or if we want to get the exponential moving average value so for that we need to use this ta library so using for using this ta library let us see in the documentation how we can do it so if i search rsi so it has all the indicators implementation like if we use want to use rsi then we have to use this ta dot momentum dot rsi indicator or if we use ema so let us see where it is so here it is ta dot trend dot ema indicator and here it takes a pandas object and the time frame like 14 time 14 time or anything you can add here so for this let us take example of exponential moving average so we have data of NSI, uh, sbin so if we need to add one more table uh, one more column here of rsi then we have to do data inside in between quotes rsi suppose it's 14 interval so we have to simply call talib dot we will just copy it and now inside we will pass one of the column so here we will be passing the close value okay so inside data close and we can add a time frame here so time frame can be suppose we are taking 14 so in this data rsi 14 sorry it is ema i am very sorry in this data ema 14 it will continue to store the ema values in this column so when i will run this you will uh, get to know okay so suppose for 20 i will print first 20 ta has no attribute as ta okay let it do like this simple so now you can see that it is storing the object not the value ta dot object so getting the for getting the value we need to pass 
this EMA indicator inside this method we need to add on also so here we will add EMA indicator so let's now run and check if it is getting the value or not no it is not getting this value okay maybe I'm doing something wrong okay I have add, added in the wrong place I should add it here it's a very blunt mistake I did so now you can see in the first 13 it is getting an non non value and after that in the 14th one it is has started given the exponential moving average value uh, similarly we will add RSI value also the data RSI of 14 so now we will check the RSI implementation here so we have TA dot momentum dot RSI indicator and inside we will pass close value of time period 50 14 and the method would be RSI so now we will run this so you can see that we are also getting the RSI value also suppose we need to get for HDFC so simply we will add a stock name here You can see that we are getting the RSI values and the EMA values here. So using that we can add anything we want here. Suppose uh, we will uh, we will add some buy condition over here. So we will only enter the market if the close value is greater than the EMA value. So we can also add such things like data by condition should be data close must be greater than data of EMA 14 so let me add this let me run this command okay so here we can enter the market so in this data frame suppose we need to take only some uh, columns so that we can do also so these things let us take forward in the next lecture so in this lecture you are able to know how to use this TA library so first of all you need to import this you need to install this using pip command pip install talib after that you need to check the methods in the documentation page that i will add in the uh, video description you can search the indicator you want here and you need to just pass this class name and the pa parameter values here it is data close or data high open and the time frame after that you need to append this method whatever it is shown here like this and after that you need to save it in a data and inside a uh, in between the quotes in brackets in such way these values will get stored in this data frame and we can do any condition you want here so that's it guys and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you